everybody. It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Today's date, June the 29th, 2019. I have an update for all of you from the state of Alaska. Uh, I reported a little while ago that the uh, state of Alaska's governor was considering canceling or stopping the Ocean Ranger program. This is where uh, Individuals uh, with uh, Coast Guard, U.S. Coast Guard training are uh, assigned to cruise ships in Alaska. They help monitor uh, all of their discharges. Uh, they help with safety. Uh, they help with monitoring water levels, quality levels, all that kind of stuff. It's funded by the passengers on cruise ships in Alaska. This was a program that uh, was voted on by the Alaska voters in a special referendum in 2006 and has been running now for over a dozen years. Now, the story has been going that um, industry people, the cruise lines themselves, have been trying to kill this program for years. They have been trying desperately to get the Ocean Ranger program killed without uh, the public knowing about it. It's been behind-the-scenes lobbying going on, and the Republican governor just announced yesterday that he is vetoing funding for this program. He's killing it. He is going to try to eliminate the Ocean Ranger program completely. The catch is that the um, state doesn't pay a dime for this service. This service, as I said, is funded by cruise ship passengers as a special levy. And the funds uh, collect every year. Uh, the governor just won't allow the funding to go to the Rangers. In effect, he's stepping in the middle of the bank account and stopping the checks from clearing. The Ranger of this year, 2019, the Ocean Rangers will continue doing what they do. Next year, it'll be funded, but there will be no Ocean Rangers paid to do the work, and that's going to be interesting. The um, question to from reporters to the governors, why would you do this when it uh, makes no difference on the state's funds? You can't take the money for state purposes to go against the state deficit, um, and this information is quite valuable to uh, to uh, the industry and, and to the public uh, to help keep the waters pure in Alaska. And he panned off the podium to one of his uh, lackeys. And um, uh, one of the quotes that came out uh, from another mm, recording a little while ago, there was a commissioner who said something about the lines of, um, we don't have mining rangers, there are no oil rangers, there are no fish processing rangers, there are no timber rangers. <clears throat> Why should there be cruise ship rangers? That was the answer. Why? <clears throat> One of the um, <laughs> rangers was quoted as saying, well, cruise ships move. Um, they move all the time, and uh, you can't inspect a cruise ship from Juneau or from uh, Ketchikan or Skagway. You, you have to be on the ship to know what the hell they're doing. Uh, but apparently the governor just wasn't moved and decided to veto the program. Um, we'll find out how this plays out going forward because apparently the legislature in Alaska could override this veto. Uh, the question is, are there enough uh, to, uh, to do it? Um, no one knows at this point. I'm not an expert in Alaska law and politics, but boy, oh boy, um, the, uh, it sure doesn't look good, does it? Uh, you gotta wonder. Join me Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern Time. Saturdays at 2 Eastern Time. We talk cruise ships six days a week, including topics like this. You think this is a good idea to veto the Ocean Rangers program? Let me know in my comments below. Say yes or no, they should kill it or not. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel today. Hit the bell notification icon. You'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.